sample problem from chapter 24. Electrons are continually being knocked out of air molecules in the atmosphere by cosmic ray particles coming in from space. Once released, each electron experiences an electric force due to the electric field that is produced in the atmosphere by the charged particles already on the Earth. Near Earth's surface, the electric field has the magnitude of 150 Newton per coulomb and it is directed downwards. What is the change in electric potential energy delta U of the released electron when the electric force causes it to move vertically upward through a distance d equal to 520 meter as shown in the figure? Through what potential change does the electron move? So in this question, they gave some information about the distance as well as they gave the information about the electric field and the force experienced by the electron. So here we are going to find the answer for the potential change that is delta V. And here what they give near to the earth surface, we have the electric field of 150 Newton per Coulomb and all the electric field lines are vertically downward direction. And here the electrons, as we already studied in the theory, the electron will always experience the force opposite to the direction of the electric field. So that means here the electric field blue color lines you have to see this line which line the left hand side so this line is focusing downward direction but the electron experience the force upward direction that means both directions are opposite to each other so by that it will have the angle of 180 degree so here for getting the answer for the potential change first of all we have to calculate what is the work done so here, first of all, let's be write what is given in the question. And after that, we will apply the rule one by one. So here, they give the information about the electric field. What's the value of the electric field? The electric field value is 150 Newton per Coulomb. And how much distance the electron moves? The value of the D is given here as 520 meter. And here, the angle is 180 degree because the electric field as well as the force experienced by the electrons is opposite each other. So the angle between these two are exactly 180 degree. So for getting the answer for the change in potential, that is delta V, first of all, I have to find what is the work done. So we already studied in physics one, the change in potential energy, which is equal to negative of work done or work done, which is equal to negative of change in potential energy. Am I right? So first of all, what I'm going to do for getting the answer for the delta V, I'm going to find the work done first. So for that, I have to apply the rule for the work done. What is the formula for the work done? We already know the rule W, which is equal to the force vector dot D vector. So here we have to write this as FD cosine theta. And here the force is nothing but the force experienced by the charge. So therefore F, which is equal to Q multiplied by E. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this F and I'm going to substitute here. So by that, this work done formula will change as QE multiplied by D multiplied by cosine theta. Now I'm going to substitute the value here for getting the answer for the work done. So what is the charge value? Because this is an electron. So the charge of the electron is minus 1.6 multiply 10 power minus 19. And the electric field value is already given near to the earth surface. What's the electric field? Which is 150 Newton per Coulomb, which is already given in the question. And the distance moved by the electron is 520 meter. So this value is also given in the question. And the angle is 180 degree. As I already mentioned, the electric field as well as the force experienced by the charge are opposite to each other. So the angle between these two are exactly 180 degree. So here the angle is 180 degree. So cosine of 180 degree gives a negative value. So that negative will cancel with this negative. And finally, we will get the answer as positive value. So what is the answer for this work done? So I have to calculate. So let's we see what is the answer. 1.6 multiply 10 power minus 19, multiply 150, multiply 520, multiply with cosine of 180. 
So cosine 180 is exactly our negative 1. So let's we see what is the answer. So here I got the answer as 1.248 multiply 10 power minus 14 and the unit for the work done is juice. So here we got the answer for the work done. Now what we have to do, we have to apply the rule as we already know the rule, the work done which is equal to the negative of change in potential energy. Right? So here, once we got the work done, so what is the change in potential energy? So the change in potential energy will take the value of negative of 1.248 multiply 10 power minus 40. Because if work done is positive, the change in potential energy is negative. We already studied this rule in physics 1. So this is the answer for change in potential energy. So now I'm going to find the potential. So what is the potential? As we already studied the rule, potential which is delta V. So delta V, which is nothing but work done divided by the charge. So here work is nothing but change in potential energy divided by charge. So here our potential change, the potential energy change is negative. So once we substitute the value, that negative will cancel with this electron charge value. So first of all, we will apply the value here. So here change in potential energy, we already got minus 1.248 multiply 10 power minus 14 divided by minus 1.6 multiply 10 power minus 19. So here, if you divide this value with 1.6 10 to the power of minus 19, I got the answer here as 78. That means uh, 70 minus or minus get cancelled with this minus. So I got 78,000. What's the unit for the potential? So here I can round it the value as better. I can write the value in terms of power. So 7.8 multiply 10 power 4 volt. So this is the answer for this question. Clear? That's it. Thank you.